when it's come to removing an element into an array there is one more method which you can use it so generally what happened that you have an array just imagine that you have 10 array and when you call a delete method on that array to delete a specific index a specific element what happened at that time the length is going to be the same so if you have 10 element and you call the delete function and you deleted the first element or second element the length is going to be the same and that's not ideal because you want to change the length as well because you have deleted one element once you call the delete function straight away what happened at that time it will set the value to zero by default so it's always a great idea that whichever element you want to delete first you have to place that element at the end at the end of the array and from there you can call it pop method to delete the last element and that way you will get the updated length after the delete okay and that's what we're going to do it right now in this video so first thing we have to provide the sorority license identifier mit then we have defined the sorority versions and here we're going to create a contract and we'll call it array replaced from end here we're going to define an array and it's going to be a normal array we have not defining any value and here we're going to create a function okay so let me give this command deleting an element create a gap in the array this is what i have talked about if you want to delete uh, an array if you have 10 array if you want to delete the array number five and that it will reset the value but it you will have the same length and that's that's the gap i'm talking about here on trick to keep that array compact is to move that last element and place and then call delete method so let's call this let's see in the functions we'll call this remove and in that we're going to pass the index whichever index we want to delete into an array and we're going to make it public so anybody can call it so we have that one now what i'm going to do is i'm going to create this move the L last element into the place to delete so we just move it and now we're going to create an array we'll have an array this entire array in that we're going to identify by an uh, sorry index and we're going to simply call this array dot length minus one so it will give us the last length so it will give us the right index and the exactly both the thing would be together simple let's call replay remove the last element so to remove that we're going to call this pop method so what we are so what we are doing here we are just setting up the value and we are removing the last element so that's how exactly it works and that's how you can remove that let's come here let's create another function and we're going to call it test public and here we're going to confirm that so we have to update the array so we're going to take this four array in that we're going to simply call this remove function so what i'm doing here i want to remove the element number two inside my array the two so for that I will calling that and this is what the result I will get so first I'm doing that I'm bringing that four the fourth one bringing into the place of two so one four three and that's what I have talked about so you have to replace the position of the index of the element which you want to delete from the to the last and bring the last one to its own place that's what the array updated array will get after calling this remove functions and here we can make the change so if the length is three so that's the first check we are doing and here we are simply doing that second check that in this in the first index we have one in the zero index we have one and the first index we have four and the second index we have three and now we can simply call the remove function so in this remove function what i'm doing i want to remove the last element the last one so this is what i will get one and four because it's already last we are not going to replace with anyone so we're going to simply call this and then we can check the length is it the length if is that the length then simply confirm that it will work 100 percent fine and that's the entire logic hope this makes sense how you can replace the array and then you can simply remove that so this is the entire contract we have here let's deploy the contract very quickly this is the only contract i have in this let's open this one and here we have these three functions remove test and array so right now if i call one i have nothing into this because initially we have not assigned any value to this so first let me click on this test if i click on this test it will do this you can see <clears throat> first it will update the array then it will remove the this element and it will give me the updated array then we are confirming this then again we are removing this array so this is the third one because this was 0 1 and 2 so this one and then we are checking for this if you have a look here we can see the transaction went successful there is no error and you can see everything looks fine we don't have any error means everything's look good so that's how you can replace an array by shifting and that way you always get the updated length 
so 10 array if you want to remove one and you want that the length of the array also also get changed and that's how is the way to go so hope this makes sense to all of you and that's the only thing i want to talk about the array i hope i try to cover every single thing about the array which are there by replacing and then shifting and deleting then the normal so everything we have discussed about the array in the solidity smart contract or in the solidity programming language with that said let's move to the next video